Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. We work in a variety of industries all over the world, but when you get to the oil field sand screen industry, we have a unique position. We build all six of the machines necessary for the production of wrapped and welded sand screens. I trace this back to the late 90s when the industry was going through some changes. Everyone was building these machines with a fixed rotation and translation ratio, much like a lathe and a tailstock. The industry needed something better. We started building these sand screen machines, and then we've added to this line by building the other five components, the other five machines that are necessary for production. The first machine is a rib cutting machine. There are two components to a wrapped and welded sand screen. The rib wires, which are longitudinal, can be 40 foot long, and the wrap wire, which go around and actually do the filtration. To make the rib wires, you have to straighten the house-shaped wire and cut it to length. This is the point of the rib cutting machine. After rib cutting, there are two different ways you can make a screen, either a jacket or wrap-on pipe. If you're doing wrap-on pipe, in some cases, they'd like to have the pipe cleaned before we do it. That's for two reasons, possibly for grounding and possibly just for uh, cleanliness. So what we build is a sanding machine. It uses a belt sander, and we're cleaning the entire outside surface of these pipes before we wrap the screen around them. The next operation is drilling, because after the oil flows through the filter, of the wrap screen, it has to flow through the pipe itself. Pipes don't leak unless you drill them. So we build an 80 spindle drilling machine. We're running 80 spindles to simultaneously drill 80 holes. We can do over 4,000 holes in less than five minutes with these machines. A single drilling machine can support several of the wrapped and welding machines, which is the next operation. The wrap and welding machine uses uh, interesting technology. What we're doing is we're measuring the wire in real time as it flows into the machine. And what we can do is compensate for variations in width in the wire and still maintain extremely tight tolerances on the order of plus or minus one thousandths between wraps. This gap between the wires is what controls the filtration. And this is really what started this revolution in, in the latest generation sand screen machines. So after you finish welding the sand screens, uh, if it's a merely a jacket without pipe, then you frequently have to cut it to length. So we, we build a saw. It's no, it's no easy matter to cut a jacket. So what we found is the best way to do it is with an abrasive cutoff saw. And rather than simply plunging the blade, we're actually rotating the part to get a nice square in. Works pretty well. And the final operation in a sand screen system is inspection. So we're using an optical inspection technique. We're measuring down to five microns. We're trying to measure gaps, which are ranging plus or minus one thousandths is the tolerance. And with a visual-based system, we're able to do this quickly and efficiently. The old school technique was to use feeler gauges, and now we're doing it fully automatically. I just kind of thought this was an interesting project for us because very uncommon for us to build everything in a factory. But in this case, if you need a screen factory, you've got a single source here at Arc Specialties. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.